to go. Ah, me, this, this, illa, dile, dile, dile. We began by dile, sending a dile. dog into a wood dile, to dile. find our truffles. Dile, dile. Eh, dile. And while he was doing that, I went to get my car. This is it. The new £840,000 Bugatti Veyron. It's the fastest, most powerful and most expensive road car the world has ever seen. So you two really think you can beat that, do you? Yep. Well, we've got our truffles. 65 quid that cost. Something that looks like a mummified testicle. And now we've got to get them back to London. So, you ready? Yep. Confident man, best of luck. Try not to crash. See you, uh, see you there. Have we really got our own plane? Yep. Fantastic. Let's go. <laughs> Hang on a second, is that it? Well, it's a Cessna 182. James, it's pathetic. It looks like something a builder would leave behind. It's not, it's a, honestly, it's a good kite, this. Kite? Yeah. Hello? He's trying to make me go in the sky and something you see poking out of a skip. What is it? What's it called? Cessna 182. Whatever that is. 182 refers to the number of quid it cost, I suspect. <laughs> <laughs> because it's been standing overnight, you have to make sure there's no sediment or water in the fuel, which would cause... Is there any sediment or water in the fuel? Well, you have to check it like this. Look, I'll show you. These are drain points. You use this special cup. Good, good. Oh, look, it's you clear. You take a sample out and then you make sure there's no water in it, which you would see as a separate layer. See? Clear. Good. Go. But in the to, sky. But there are five of these on each side and two under the engine. OK, I'm doing uh, 80 miles an hour now, the limit, and I'm, according to this, using 50 brake horsepower. So that's 950 to go. Got your seatbelt on, Hammond? Is this more checks? No, seatbelt. Put it on. Yeah, it's on. OK. Hello, this is uh, Cessna 182 Golf Bravo X-Ray Zulu Mike. Request taxi for a VFR flight to Lima Foxtrot Mike Hotel, please. Roger, line up uh, zero 03. Report on ready. I'm ready to go. Are you happy in the back? To the skies! Flight checks had taken so long, but by the time they'd left Italian tarmac, I was leaving Italy itself. This is the Mont Blanc tunnel. This is where they had the um, terrible fire a couple of years ago. So now they've got ferocious speed rules in here, and there's a million speed cameras. So I'll put it into automatic and relax. James, why can I see the bed? Uh, because we couldn't go over the mountains, mate. I didn't tell you this. We had to route down towards Nice and go along the coast a bit, and then we'll I, head up. I'm sorry. Home. We, the ones in the aeroplane in this race, can't go over, over the mountains. No, mate. Sorry. So Jeremy's car can go higher than your aeroplane as well as faster. This was a major blow because while Jeremy had already cleared the Mont Blanc tunnel and was steaming towards Switzerland, we were heading southwest over the French Riviera. And whichever way you cut it, that's the wrong way. Yep, car friendly Switzerland, and sure enough, they'd sent a welcome party. Come 
Hammond. Hammond, how are you doing? Hello. I'm fine, how are you? We're going the wrong way, we're heading southwest. Towards Nice right now. You're heading toward Nice? We have to go around everything. Apparently there's a big tree that could be a bit tricky for us. And, uh, but no, yeah. stop, Richard. Did you say you were heading for don't Nice? Laugh. Just don't laugh. <laughs> Is your car sounding like it might break down in the next ten minutes? No. You've no idea, mate. Oh. It's phenomenal. It goes like a... <laughs> so, an update on the race for you. I'm winning by miles. I was storming toward Dijon while the Wright brothers were being refueled in Saint-Étienne, 150 miles behind, which wasn't pleasing James. How do we say, stop being such a trade unionist and get on with it? One day, those guys are going to find a means of transport that's better than a car, but I don't think today is that day. Hammond. I ought to tell you, I've only actually done two and a half hours on this type of aircraft. Right, so you're not entirely familiar. I know what all the major knobs and things do. Hamster, are you really hammering along now? We do have problems. James has just told me that he hasn't done the test that allows him to drive the plane at night. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to land, and I quote, somewhere maybe Lil. He really hasn't thought this through, has he? If we could make Lille before night fell, we were in with a chance of catching the Eurostar to London and staying in the race. We landed in Lil with moments to spare. Hamster, where are you? Are you down? You must be down by now. We're down, yeah. Where are you? Oh, well, I'm about 70 miles from Calais. Right, OK. Come on. Um, that's good. The train's fast. The good thing is, is this is going to be seriously close. Yes, this is a good thing. <laughs> Well, here we are. I've made it to Calais. Yes. I don't want to lower the tone or anything, but I haven't been to the loo since Italy, and I'm gagging for it. And the ones that way are out of order, and there's 42 British coaches through there, and they all want my autograph. I'd arrived back in Britain half an hour in front of Ginger and Algae, but they were gaining fast. Hamster, how are you? We're on our train and we're doing quite nicely. We're 35 minutes from Waterloo. It is down to the wire again. Any minute now, we'll see your headlights sweep past the window. May the best man win. Where'd you get these night buses? Right outside. Can you find them in truffles? This is it, this is it. Excellent. All right, go, 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 go. Another red light. James! Yeah, I'm coming. That's it! <laughs> this is it. It's the NetWest Tower! I'm here! Are they here? Good evening. Good evening. I don't know, I'm confused. Does that mean we've won? Where is he? Uh, well, I, I would say we've won. We're here, and he's not. A little effort. That's What's a shudder! That reflection, <laughs> reflection in the window of a ghostly figure! <laughs> Surely not! <laughs> That's horrible. You unbearable man! Oh. I can't stand it. <laughs> oh. it's dignity. Yes. You got your truffle? Yeah. Yes. Well, unfortunately, they've already got one. So I'm afraid you're 65 quid out of pocket.